Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing off my newer naval base that I've been working on. It's not by any means finished, there's still so much I gotta do from like the surrounding areas. It is based off an actual naval base. So I like to, when I do a naval base, I'll keep it fairly realistic. The one I got on Foxshot is based off of um, the one in San Diego. Well, it's loosely based off that, but this one is kind of a a bit more of a replica, replica, uh, remake. So we're gonna start at one end, go to the other. Before I uh, get into it, I built this in default instead of my normal texture pack, so it's a bit different to how you'd see things. Some of the vehicles look a bit different than how they would in uh, the texture pack. So. Um, yeah, let's um, let's get into it. So, what we're gonna go from one end to the other. What I've got is I've got a whole range of warships. This is based off of the uh, HMAS Cuttable in uh, Sydney. So it's this big Sydney. It's a Sydney naval base. One of one of the three or four, some of that. But yeah, we're gonna go from one end to the other. So we've got like a couple of warships around. I've got some of the. Um, I saw this on Google Maps, it's the barriers, it like nets to sort of, I think they're there to actually protect more warships, they're there to protect them from like, I don't know, example, probably, they're probably just nets, so like you can't dive up, you can't swim close to them and all that crap, can't bring a boat, but yeah, uh, so I've got two of the Adelaide class frigates, and in front of that I've got my new version of the HMAS Hobart class. Well, the Hobart class. So I did do this in the past, and the front of it was a lot more pointy. This was a lot more steeper. Uh, this got some bits changed on it, I think. But I built it, um, I redid it pretty much. I used a few of the things from the old one, like the smokestacks and stuff. But yeah, so if we move further on, we've got this car park here. I'm pretty sure that's a car park building, and on top of it is like a walkable path. Got some of the suburbs around it, sort of in. So it's all it's all angles and stuff like that, buildings on angles. So if you, I'll give you a simple tip: if you're gonna do like a realism stuff, like naval bases, use angles. It makes things so much better. I mean, just look at this hillside. If that's not enough to convince you, uh, I'd strongly recommend to try it. It makes things look so much better. And then down here, I've got some traffic lights down here with some crossings. These are where the road markings are. Well, almost accurate road markings, but some of them I can't do. Some of them I had to extend a bit to get them in. But if we come here, we've got the um, uh, Canberra class. So this is the new and updated version of the camera class compared to my old one. The old one was a bit more boxier than this one. This one's a bit more rounded at the front and overall looks better. It's got more detail on it, stuff like that. It's even got an interior. So I'll show you the interior on this thing once we get there. Down here. And in here I've got my uh, newer version of the Eurocopter Tiger and a few trailers uh, don't think I didn't couldn't fit my um, NH90 in here got some transport I don't know if these are actually on the camera class because I don't you don't see much of the camera class I haven't changed those over yet so that's what the the planks is what the my dark rays in my texture back and if we go down here around here I've got some I've got Abrams and a Bushmaster or built in default. This kind of proves that any any of my designs can be done in default. And then we've got the wet deck down here. But yeah, that pretty much shows the inside in here. We've got an opening up to the um, pier. Got a, uh, got a parenti there. And then I've got like a uh, mobile crane that I've slowly been working on here and there. Uh, Crafty Fox, this is Crafty Fox's design of the cherry picker. So I will link him down below if you want to go check out his channel. 
all his stuff is there. If you like trains, you'll love it. Okay, so if we move on, we got um, the other Canberra class. So we got Canberra and Adelaide, or well, one or the other. I can can always can't always remember which ones which to be honest, but they're both pretty much the same. They both got an interior. But yeah, so if we head around here, all these buildings are where the buildings are in the real world and on the angle they're on. Minus bar a few things here and there that I couldn't see and couldn't couldn't do. But yeah, so we got this uh, uh, dry dock here, in bet right in the middle, and I know this can be divided into two areas. So if you look on Google Maps, I'm pretty sure the HMAS on slow is actually in there on Google Maps. Well, it was when I was working on this. So, uh, yeah. So this area is nowhere by any means done. There's a lot more that has to be done from the surrounding area, but I've just been kind of all over the place at the moment. Yeah. So if I head further down, we've got some cranes that still have... I did I put this in a texture pack to upload it to PMC, which is why this stuff that is like the wooden planks, this was all dark grey at one point. Well, still is, but it was all in texture pack dark grey. But if we head down here, we've got a few tugboats around, a yacht, um floating bits that I can't remember what they're called. Same with those bits down there. Uh, those things. Oh, okay, now if we head this way, we'll head into the bottom end of the naval base. And my game just sort of lagged for a second there. Okay, over here we got some, we got an Anzac class, we got some more warships, we got an Anzac class, and a another fr uh, Adelaide class frigate and yeah so over here we've got some minesweepers these are on an angle uh, they're a bit odd on an angle but yeah those two minesweepers on Google Maps so I chuck them in uh, there is a tutorial on them if you want them but let's head around this island there's a lot of trees around and this whole area is actually a hill. So if we head up here, it's on a hill. There's a building at the top, some basketball courts. I couldn't really see well in here to get what was in here properly. And over here I got on an angle is HMAS Schulz being pulled in um, being pulled in for the dry dock. Yeah, oh, I need to fix that. But yeah, that pretty much shows off this part of the naval base. So, yeah. If you want any ideas for a naval base, here you go. Simple things. Over detail. People say don't over detail. I'd say, on the contrary, don't be afraid to over detail things. The more detail you put into it, the better it looks. Unless you're doing like a tiny jet and just like plastering it with buttons. And it probably won't come out too good. But yeah. So that pretty much shows off this naval base. We'll get into like this suburb area right here. Oh, my game's starting to lag because I've been flying around. So we got some like a hillside here, which looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that, that's better. But yeah, alright. So keep heading up, um, and this is as far as I got was up to here, and then I stopped working on the hillside, started working on the bottom of the hill down there, uh, that bit down there, didn't come back to it. But yeah, that pretty much finishes off this video of, there's some ideas if you want to do a naval base, don't be afraid of angles, simple tips like that. Another tip I can give you is all the way down here at this end. So, um, down here, I've got this sort of rock wall going down. 
um, under here. The bit like if you want a way to do rock walls, uh, an easy way to do it is go up on an angle like this. And then like just get that shape going around and then just go ballistic with blocks and that and then cut out a few here and there. And yeah, you get like this cool looking rock wall stuff. But there's an idea if you wanna if you need like if you wanna put like a rock ball a rock wall around your naval base somewhere. As you see mines down here, it doesn't affect the ships. Another idea is the um drainage pipe here I've got. I uh, know I had that on same thing on the um uh, Darwin naval base that I did um back on the three sixty actually. That was quite a while ago. But yeah, still still got that world. I still still have that base. I worked on it a lot since then. Redid some things here and there, changed the roads, sort of update them and stuff. But yeah, that pretty much shows off this naval base, so yeah, there's some tips if you want them. Don't be afraid to over-detail, don't be afraid with angles. Angles make things look better. And even simple stuff like this stuff down here, like freight containers, tires, um, uh, barrels, stuff like that. Simple bits of detailing. Uh, these were boxes. They were in the texture pack. But yeah, just simple things like that. Don't be afraid, otherwise you'll have, it'll look like this pretty much, it'll just look empty. Like, I'll, when I'm done with this, I plan to, like, literally have this whole area covered in stuff like boxes, trucks, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, that pretty much shows off this naval base. Um, if you feel the video deserves it, leave a like. Go ahead and uh, leave a comment if you want. Um, tell me your thoughts. What are some things you'd like to see? Um, you can do a tutorial on the tugboat if you want it. Just let me know in the comments. Simple things like that. Oh, another thing probably to add would be stuff like um, try overthinking things as well. Like uh, think uh, realistically, security, um, MP sort of type stuff as well. Like I got the front gate here, down here. This is literally what it looks like. There's not much to it. But yeah just pretty much think of things that you wouldn't expect to see on a naval base. But besides from that, I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.